how my dog will be. Brian Brown, he matches up below. Naha, you are trying to watch stay on that page is up below. My name is Brian Brown. I am the principal here at Norris Elementary, Chanum Sapo, Iowa. Um, this is my first year as principal here at Norris. We are located in the southwestern corner of the Rosebud Reservation. Uh, Norris is about 27 miles from Rosebud. And at this school here, we serve four communities. We serve Black Pipe, Corn Creek, uh, <clears throat> Red Leaf Community, and the town of Norris. So all of our children that come here at school are from one of those four communities um, out of the, I believe, 21 here total in the Rosebud Reservation. Our school here, what well, used to be a ration station here, uh, I think it goes back to 1894, which was about six miles north from here. Uh, and then sometime in the 1900s, they had moved the school here to Black Pipe. Uh, there has never ever been a drum group uh, started here at Norris Elementary and so we are the first of its kind. There is a very well-known family um, from the Red Leaf community, Nape Shicha Chiyoshpe, the Bad Hand family, and everyone knows them as the Red Leaf Singers. And not only are they known nationally, but they are known worldwide. And so we're very proud of, to come from that. And so these young boys and young girls here at Norris are trying to uh, re-implement that and uh, start something new here. And so we now have a drum group here called Black Pipe Singers uh, here at Norris Elementary. Well, my passion and my forte is, is educating our children. Um, my specialty is, is preserving, I'm like a cultural barrier, so I want to preserve the language. I want to preserve that Lakowi Chohan, that, that Lakota way of life. Um, and so when I was given opportunities where to be a principal, um, I chose Black Pipe because out of the rules by reservation, the Black Pipe community, Corn Creek and Red Leaf, uh, and the town of Norris um, always kind of seemed to, to be left out. And so I wanted to bring uh, some challenges and I wanted you to bring um, a different outlook here to Black Pipe uh, and to give these children here some hope and some opportunity uh, to shine and to, to show themselves um, through song, through language, uh, and through Lakota philosophy. And so that's the reason why I chose here. I moved home in 99, 2000. Um, I've been under the direction of um, Grandpa Roy Stone for, for many years, uh, Roland Black Bull, Lexi Albert White Hat, um, Lexi Dwayne Hollowhorn Bear, uh, a lot of our different elders, uh, Tamashke Otawin, uh, Grandma Neola Spotted Tail, um, and also Sandra Black Crow. And so, kind of listening to the elders and following them, uh, and by the blessings of Tukashila, of God, uh, I felt that it was my purpose here to, to help our people here. Uh, excel in, in language and, and in philosophy of life and, and just that, that Lakota Chohan, that Lakota way of life. And so um, my purpose is to, to give our kids a, a, a sense of identity um, and give them some chance and hope of what it means to be Lakota and to be proud of who they are and where they come from. Um, and then through research based of education, uh, children that learn through songs academically excel better than children who don't uh, participate in songs. Uh, as Lakota people, we are a people of songs. We have songs for everything. And so children learn better, um, they, they academically score better and do better when they do it through songs. Uh, and that's another way for me to help the children and our people preserve our language and I do it through songs.